today we are going to make a inverter using CMOS technology by using two NMOS and PMOS transistors so very very welcome in my channel and in this video by PK technical classes and today we will see the inverter circuit using PMOS and NMOS so this is a software of uh, we can say uh, window 3.8 version and today uh, we are going to design this inverter circuit so first of all go to file and select foundry after selecting foundry we are going to design so let us take foundry of CMOS 012 dot RUL and open it after that we can see that the fin fat has been gone away and uh, we can see there is MOS gate in a pallet okay and uh, there is distance between uh, two gaps is one lambda which is uh, 0 0.80 micrometer so let us begin so in the pallet we are going to select MOS generator and click in the MOS generator while clicking in the MOS generator we'll find that this layout generator gets open and we have to select this PMOS which we have selected then we click on the generate and then we can click it over here likewise we will do it again repeat this uh, terminology again we click in that uh, P MOS generator and layout generator opens then we will select in NMOS as we have select in PMOS so we can observe this uh, PMOS and NMOS both things are different friends we can see here so again we will do it we have select this NMOS and we have generated according to this uh, design we have to place this portion so that we can align it very easily okay so let us uh, friend select this uh, metal one which will connect the drain portion of this uh, PMOS with NMOS and then we are going to select this MOS gate and we are connecting this gate terminal so while connecting this gate terminal you can see that we have connected this gate terminal and we have connected this brain terminal now we are going to select this VDD then we are selecting this VDD and placing in this metal contact then we will select this uh, ground or VSS and clicking in this position likewise then what we have to do we have just want to select this uh, input in this get portion so let us give this uh, a name of INPUT input and then we will assign it for uh, visible node we are putting this uh, visible node in place of brain and uh, we must name it like output now we can assign it over here and now what we have to do we can uh, go to check for a DRC design rule check yes this is ok and uh, we can see it in 2D pattern if we will do like this so this 2D appearance we can see the layers different type of layers of uh, metal uh, polysilicon contact diffusion this type of layers we can see thickness height etc in this 2D design if we want to see the 
layers different type of layers which type of layers we have included over here so initial this is substrate which is known as also p substrate which is our platform so we'll see that end diffusion si o2 the next thin oxide growth thin oxide reduce polysilicon deposit n plus implant p plus implant embedded dram second polysilicon deposit create the contact metal deposit and each via hole and fill metal to deposit and each via two hole and fill metal three deposit and each via three hole and fill metal four deposit and each via four hole and fill metal five deposit and each via five hole and fill meme dielectric metal six deposit etching passivation oxi oxide passivation etching and now this end of this process so this is the total process which we have filled and we can see in this 3d view pattern next if we go for a 3d view we can see it likewise and we can rotate rotate this likewise in any angular view we can see it we can go for automatic rotation also likewise okay friends so let us so now we have completed this diagram which we want to make different type of fabrication we have done and we have seen the 2d and 3d views now we want to stimulate it so just go for stimulation and we must run this okay we have seen the output likewise so this is the input and this is the respective output so whenever we see that with respect to time the voltage with respect to time so we can see that if the input is going high the respective output is going low and varying wherever the output input is getting low the output is getting high and vice versa so we can see that with respect to time of uh, picoseconds this output we are getting with respect to input if we want to change this time cycles 10 nanoseconds 20 nanoseconds different type of cycles we can observe 50 nanoseconds 100 nanoseconds 2 nanoseconds so this type of waves we are getting at the output of this input respective input so thank you for today and uh, we have got done this experiment successfully and we are getting the different type of outputs thank you friends from pk technical classes